So let me just get the graphic off the screen. And uh, I'm joined today by uh, Mike Woolley, as always. Afternoon, Mike. everybody. Uh, we, as you can see here, we're just watching the, uh, the coin toss. Uh, this is a must win for both sides. Uh, we're getting to the sharp end of the season and both teams are in contention for playoff football. So um, Bournemouth are in the, in the better situation. They're third in the, in the league at the moment, which is a playoff position. So it's, it's their position to lose and the Apache's position to gain. Uh, you can see there that the Apache's won the toss and have deferred. I believe. It looks about right, doesn't it, Mike? Yes. You, you know all the signals. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, Apache have deferred to the second half. And Bournemouth have received the ball to our left of the field. QB number one, Sam Chance there. Reported okay. before the game, he's now fully fit. Okay. So, should see a good performance from him. So, I just want to check, yeah, I've got everything on screen. Uh, we do have a couple of comments, or oh, just one so far saying, let's go my USO Paulie. I'm hoping that's a, uh, that's a phrase that we're okay, that we're okay saying. I don't know what USO means. But uh, yeah, so we've got, as you can see, as we're looking at it right to left, the, um, the Apache are getting ready to kick off. And left to right, uh, Bobcat's ready to receive. Nathan saying greetings. Looking forward to this one, Nathan. There is another game. There's a couple of games being live streamed today, which is really good. Um, so have a look at our scores post on our website, and you, you'll be able to see um, what games they are. Hopefully, you stick with us, but you know, we won't hold it against you. This, but this is this is going to this is a belt of a game. We're really looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, here we go. Number 22 for the Bristol Apache about to kick off or kicking off. Ball the Baron's taken the ball. Looks like he's taken that. Oh no, he's, he's keeping hold of it, isn't he, Mike? And brought down. I mean, Mike, where's that ball? Where would you say? Is that 10 yard line? Well, just wait and see where they set up, and then it's close to the 10, yeah. Yeah. You're in a higher position than me today, so. Yeah, sorry, yeah. <laughs> well, it, from here, it looks like he'd have been better off just taking the knee in the end zone and getting the 20. No, he touched the ball and then took it into the end zone, so maybe. Oh, because he touched the ball first. Because he's risking the safety there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so they're around about the 10 yard line then coming out. Yeah, that's right, yeah. All right, let me just zoom in a little bit here. We can see the action. So run off the left side there. And that's... Um, Joe Genovese with a carry. No, number three, sorry. I no, thought it was number six. Chris Hobbs. Yeah, it's Chris Hobbs. Expect to see a lot from him today. He's, he's you know, he's one of the very talented special, um, uh, sorry. What am I trying to say? Special teams? It's not that, is it? Skilled players. Yeah. <laughs> Skilled no, position gain players. Of, gain of eight on that play, second down. Little short pass out to the outside from Sam Chandra, incomplete. And there's another name we're looking, we'll probably be calling out a lot today, Sam, Sam Chancery, back from injury. I think this is his third game back, is it? Uh, yeah, Mike. Sam Chancery, I'll call him Chandler, because somebody else on the team. Yeah, as I say, I spoke Sam to him before Chancery. the game, he, he had the rib injury a few, a couple of weeks back on the Oxford game, but he's feeling good. Little pass over the middle. Little 55 there for the S Apache had a chance. And so that's uh, two Adam Davies passes back to back brings out the punt team for the uh, Bobcats so three and out on their opening drive um, you know exactly what the what the, what the visiting team would have wanted right like uh, they've pinned them back quite nicely they should give uh, the Apache some good field position here for their first drive yeah so this punt's going directly into the wind the wind is running from our right to left so we we'll see what we've got punt Nathan there saying he's celebrating his wedding anniversary today, but wasn't in, wasn't expecting to do so. Oh, look at that. Okay. Wicked bounce. And I mean, what was the net total of that kick, do you reckon then, Mike? It looked like probably about 
10 20, yards. 20 yards total. From, from no, although uh, we, we, we'll, we'll give them a generous 10. Because they're setting up now on about the 28 yard line. Yeah. Wow. So almost in the red zone for their opening drive. That, uh, I don't think the Bristol Apache could have wanted for a better start to this game. Yeah, as I say, that was well into the wind and the wind called it and took it back. And then a bit of indecision from the punt team to pit actually stop that ball rolling back towards the bottom of end zone. QB keeper. Luke Holloway there with the scamper in. And that's oh. first and goal, yeah. The outside. Very much caught Bournemouth defence by surprise there. Yeah, Bournemouth, you know, Bournemouth all year. They've, they, I think they're one of the lower conceding teams in the league. Yes, yeah, as I say, I think that QB keeper kept, they, they read the run up the middle well. Again, he goes to his outside, oh, dumps out it here. off. Was that positive yards? That might, that might have been. Nathan Lester with a short reception there. Uh, I think they've got him lost a couple of yards on yeah. that catch. So that so, brings up, uh, oh no, yeah, he's, they just marched him forward a bit, so yeah. it's second down. Second and goal from about the seven. So single back spread formation for the Apache. QB keeps again, rolling out to his left. Nice flowing defence there by Bournemouth. Tackled in bounds and gains a couple of yards. Yeah, so about five yards to go on then. Five. We've got Russell Fred. wishing um, good luck to the Bristol Apache number seven, Sean Griffin, his first start of the season. Thanks for that, Russ. And Nathan saying Bristol's QB, Luke Holloway, as a former GB student in international free safety. He's certainly got some um, uh, some legs on him. He's, he, he, a couple of those boots, he's, uh, he's really stretching uh, this defense. Yeah, so spread formation, give to number 20, 29. Pushes his way forward and touchdown and for number 29, Nicholas Noonan. Patchy go up 6-0. So both opening drives completed uh, and uh, one team scored, the other team didn't. We just, this is now pending the PAT, uh, but currently 6-0. So, I mean, it, the cards couldn't have fallen any better for Apache, the Apache on that. Like I said, like they, you know, managed to pin back um, and, and do a three and out for the Bobcats on the uh, opening defensive drive. Offensive drive was, what, about 30 yards, wasn't it? So the referees there signalling they've only got 10 men on the field. Now the 11th man's coming in. And the kick is good. James Baines there with the extra point. There we go. So that's 7 0 uh, in. Uh, the first quarter here. Um, I, d I don't think, I still think we've got a very evenly matched game here. I think, uh, I think there was, you know, the Bristol team have taken advantage of their, of the situation, but I don't think, you know, we're not going to see heads drop at this point, are we, Mike? I mean, I think it's... No, uh, no. It's still very much anyone's game. Well, the, the, the key point is the, the defence have got to um, adjust, maybe keep a spy person on the number seven. Yeah, yeah. But they did start flowing to the ball on the on the third down. Yeah, I think I think, and I, I said at the time, I think what they're doing instead of a, a man to man adjustment, they're just widening their zones at, uh, at, uh, at the linebacker level, and it's obviously not good enough. So I think you're right. I think they need a spy uh, on on the QB to to keep their formation. So James Baines then to kick off for the Apache. High kick. Taron Joe with the return. Really nice. Solidly tackled, tackled down around about the 22 to 23 yard line. Yeah, 
Good little return this. Good position to start. And obviously Bournemouth are going to be wanting to get that, you know, that first that first first down, I suppose. Um, yeah, but we know all season Bournemouth have actually been they were a more pass team than they're a run team. Yes. So we'll expect them to come out throwing. Let's see what Sam Chance can do on this. So spread formation, two receivers each side. There he goes over the middle, that's our number 89. So there's something you don't see at this level. Sam immediately looked left and, and uh, was uh, was trying to you know get the defense to shift away from his target receiver who was actually over to the right and then he looks and fires very quickly and gets the completion for that first down. Yeah, Jason, um, not, Jason something you, not something you see at this level with those with, with, with QBs. They typically stare down their receiver. So some some QBs they're looking at the receiver before they've even caught the ball sometimes. Yeah. So here we go then. Chris Hobbs with a run up the middle, breaks Hobbs, a few tackles. Lovely strong running from Hobbs there, picks up a few yards. Keeps his legs pumping even though he runs into trouble. And uh, yeah, Gain of six. Tough guy to bring down. Oh, we've got spam in the comments. <laughs> Ryan here cheering on the, uh, the Apache. I've never seen that hashtag yeah. before, but they've Did got you a hashtag Mr. Coates' right. wedding anniversary. Yeah. And congratulations to his wife for surviving this poll. Yeah. <laughs> and he said the only reason he's uh, he's actually with her, spending time with her, is um, that the game was cancelled from Tor Bay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so here we go then. So, single back again. Okay, so it's offside with contact, so they'll stop the ball, stop the play immediately. Because it doesn't, doesn't, you don't get the free play opportunity there. So, uh, just to let you know, from that there was a two, uh, two p.m. kickoff: the Nottingham Caesars versus the Chester Romans. The Caesars are currently winning in the fourth quarter, twenty-one-seven. There, so uh, sort of, I think as everyone would have expected, that score, uh, well, the scoreline like that, essentially the, the Caesars in, in front. Yeah. So. Here we go then, first down after that penalty on the 49 yard line. Looks to throw deep to the outside, number 87. Oh, they're not flag gonna, yeah, they've got to flag that. They've got to flag that because he put his arms around the, the, the receiver. The receiver is allowed to put his hands up facing the defender, but there was contact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Putting his hands up is okay, but because he then touched the receiver, it becomes yeah. pass interference. Well, that's what I meant, the, yeah. the receiver had to put his arms did around they get it. The extra point? They did. <laughs> So, uh, what's the penalty on this? Is it from the point of the foul? 15 yard penalty or the spot of the foul. Oh, you get a choice. Which is ever the most. Shortest. Oh, so if it's only a 12 turn, yard penalty, you only go that 12 yards. Yeah. If it's, if it's more than 15, you only get 15 for it. <laughs> so, another first down then. Ball's on the 34 yard line now. Chris Hobbs with a run. Gain of nine. Oh. This is a completely different run, uh, a series for the Bobcats. They've had, they've had pass yardage, run yardage, and they've had yep. a really mixing yardage. up the playbook here. <laughs> like, just, uh, yeah, really good from them. Okay, so gain of eight there, second down and two. He didn't say set. So they're trying to point out the movement, but yeah. no one was set. Down to chance deep to number five. Is that another pass interference? No, no. Why isn't that a pass interference, Mike? Because he, he clearly the, they the defender they was going for the ball. Right? The defender was going for the ball and the receiver had to go through the player. So the right. the defender still has a chance to go and get the ball. Yeah. If he's closer to it than the receiver, it's not pass interference. Cool. Thank you. So, third down and two now. I wouldn't be surprised if we see another Chris Hobbs run. 
There we go. You called it, mate, but also the uh, defensive coordinator. So did coordinator the defense. To, yeah. <laughs> defensive coordinator seemed to do it as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So it's a gain of one on the run, but it's still fourth and one. Third. QB sneak, no, he's not under center. Chris Hobbs takes the ball. Met again. Turnover on downs for the Apache. Was that a turnover on downs? Yeah. Ah. I, I didn't catch that. Sorry, I'm trying to count, uh, delete some comment spam that we've got. <laughs> but uh... uh, yeah, I think it makes sense that they would have gone for it there, right? On yeah. the fourth. Yeah, we've seen a lot of teams using what's now called the Eagle Sneak, and I would have thought that they'd gone for that. Mm. They're only needing the one yard. So. On their own 26 yard line then. 84 goes in motion. Seven keeps the ball. So it gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage there for probably a yard gain if that. Yeah, very subtle gain on that ball, on that play. Max Cheetah with the tackle there, number 43. Oh, his surname's Cheetah. Cheetah, yeah. And he plays for the Bobcats. No, no, as in... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I knew it yeah. wasn't the... Uh, I mean, even, even Cheetah's a, a pretty yeah. fine name. Yeah. Yeah. So, only a gain of one on that play, second and nine. <laughs> Little bubble screen out to uh, number 84. Oh. That is really nicely thrown, but I, it, I think the intended receiver sort of, he hesitated yeah. halfway through that, um, halfway through his route, and uh, therefore it was overthrown. But I think it did, had he had a bit more conviction in his run there, it would have been a really nice ball to run onto. It's, it's that lack of communication. I think the receiver yeah. was expecting him to throw it where he was. Yeah. But the quarterback's thrown it to where he should be. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm really surprised by that. That was a really nicely thrown ball. It's also a lovely thrown ball for someone to come in and pick off, obviously. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you know, he, he, he placed it perfectly. Just, uh, so we've got trips right now. There. Single back. Third and nine. Oh. He'll be looking to pass. Yeah. Well defence there. See oh, watch out, mate. The chair just flew over it, yeah. Dave, David Isaacs with the tackle there. He's breaking up the pass, rather. So that's fourth down, and that brings on the punt team uh, to the, the third unsuccessful drive, <laughs> non-scoring drive of the game. I am counting them, if, uh, if, you, if you're asking. Um, so, yeah. But this will give Bournemouth... Um, most likely their best starting position of the game. They've had the rub of this this last couple series. Well, let me just zoom out a little bit so we can see the kicker. So, Paul Romaniuk is punter. Oh, yeah. Oh, got a, a pronunciation check before the game. Oh, yeah. Come on! Yeah, he's been around the game a long time, Paul. Wake up! Wake up! Fantastic roll there down downfield, but we do have a flag on the play. Okay. Oh, and it's... Is that in hit the kicker territory? That running sort of the thing? kicker, running into the running kicker. Into, yeah. Let's see what Ollie's got to say. It was his flag. Yeah. So roughing. Oh, they got roughing. So 15 so, yards from the spot and first down. And first down. So, yeah. so, so, so the offense for the Apache will come on now. So there's roughing and running into. So uh, from the do you want to just spot. explain the difference between them? Why, why one's worse than the other? Roughing is deliberately hitting the, it, it, the kicker. Yeah. And running into is where you actually you make contact, but it's not malicious, but it's still contact. And, and what's the penalty for both? So obviously roughing five yards and replay the down for running. Yep, roughing is 15 yards from the previous spot, automatic and a first, first down. down. So they're now just just shy midfield now, the Apache, um, and, 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 and have themselves line. benefited. So both teams have benefited from big penalties in this half so far. 
End around there by number 19. Looks to turn up field. Short gain. Nathan Lester there with the end around from the receiver slot. I think he, I feel like he should have dropped his shoulder and gained a couple more yards, but then I don't think, I don't think that's how the football's played these days. <laughs> <laughs> but so, a good play nonetheless. So second he, and nine. He, he gained a couple of yards. I think it's like anyone, they're looking for the gap to go with the extra yard rather yeah, than like take the solid. I know, yeah, turn, he could have doubled that, doubled that play. Yeah. But uh, fair enough, I, I just need to adjust, I think, I'm just too old. So, Trips right, now motion man comes to the left. Number seven, look to throw. Brought down by number 92. Looks like it's sack yardage. He may have got back to the line of scrimmage there. Robert Minton and other defensive players there on that tackle. Russ here saying, uh, wants the Apache to give Sean the ball to get positive yardage. And DJ Stevie C. Uh, cheering on the Bobcats. So he got Thanks back guys. to the line of scrimmage, so that'll be a tackle rather than a sack. Okay. So, guys, let us know where you're watching from, and if you've got any shout outs, we'll, we'll pop them up on screen. I won't always call, read them all out, but uh, certainly get them on screen for you. Number seven looks to pass over the middle. Intercepted. Do you know what? So, first turnover of the game, uh, and I did say, and I, I was going to say it earlier. Well, while watching uh, the QB for the Apache warm up, I did mention to Mike, I think there's going to be a few interceptions here because he sort of lost the ball a little bit. Um, that was one of the deeper throws I've, we've seen him make. Um, and it just spends a bit too much time in the air. Um, so, Definitely uh, looked like it was off the back foot and therefore high with this wind. Yeah. You're going to have to, so yeah, he's Tim Chapman there, number 19 for Bournemouth with the interception. Ball's on around about there. 29 yard line. Yeah, you're right, that was pretty much with the wind. If, as I'm looking at the trees, that ball was pretty much in trajectory. But anyway, hit, oh, let, let's uh, let's get the Bobcats in. This ball is snapped. QB looking downfield to an intended receiver and it's picked and again picked the other way. So we have back to back turnovers. Um, Michael Waddington there with the interception for the Apache. The Apache's unorthodox uh, way of driving downfield continues. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they're starting with the ball again, first and 10. Just in, so it's just inside the Bobcat About the territory. Yeah, just inside Bobcat territory now. So that's, uh, yeah. It's not, um, like I say, it's not, it's not the normal way of gaining yards and putting points on the board, but it's working for the Bobcats, uh, sorry, working for the Apache at the moment. <laughs> so they're back again, first and 10. So we've got a tight end, that new number QB 17 in. now, and it's quarterback. Yeah. So what happens when you throw a Two receivers, <laughs> uh, two running backs, sorry. And Look for the counter run. He doesn't quite have the legs that number uh, number seven does. It looks like number seven's going to be coming back in now anyway. Yeah, so Fen Trudian is the quarterback there. Right. There you go. He looked to, hand, to do the handoff, and I'm not sure if it was a missed handoff, and then he ran himself. So Luke Holloway's back in now. So two receivers to the left, wide receiver out to the right. Two backs. Number seven's actually a wing back on this situation. Give to number 29 up the middle. Well met by the defence. And it's a, it's a happy birthday to number 12 from the Apache, uh, from, from Katie. There we go. Michael Waddington, he got the interception. Got, got, so Yeah, she, she, she did reference it. Yeah. Saying, great catch. <laughs> yeah, so that's his birthday present come early. Yeah, good on him. Okay, so third and eight. So, number 17 looks, still looks like he's going to be in the QB position, looking at his wrist coach, Fentrudian. So, number seven's on the field as well, as it line up in the tight end position, yeah. Luke. So, single back, number 29, right, two receivers some... to the right, tight end. Back to pass, and Ooh. he is sacked. Really, really nice sack there from number 44 of the Bobcats. 
Um, Jordan Wells side. West with the sack, and that's definitely a sack. Yeah, he's at his shoulder doing it. There, was a, uh, there is a flag. What would the flag potentially be? On, Offside. Go. Offside defence. Well, he got the sack, he got the jump. So, third and four then, third and three. So Nathan just confirming 17 Fen is their normal QB, but he's had a few injuries this, this season. Okay, cool. Cheers, Nathan. Thank you. So, spread formation, single back then. Fen's at quarterback. Number seven goes in motion. Seven takes the ball on the jet sweep, and he breaks the first tackle. Really nice swarm in there from, uh, from Bournemouth to prevent any sort of yeah. Big game as well. well, actually maintain a loss. Loss of the yard, loss of the yard on the play. So yeah. fourth down then. But good effort there, good run in there to get past the two first tacklers. We've now got another punt happening. Um, let's see what happens. <laughs> it's uh, punt team on for the for the Bristol Apache. Winds just died down just a little bit, punting from about the 40, 47 yard line. So, winds drop, so a pooch punt probably. A lot of pressure here from, yeah, there he goes, off the side of the foot. But it's going to go, it's picked up. So the Bobcats pinned, sorry, the Apache pinned back again. Um, they haven't had a very good starting position in this whole game so far. Uh, score still 7-0 to the uh, to the Apache and we're still in Q quarter one. I imagine we're coming up to the end of the first quarter here, considering the number of uh, series we've had. Yeah, it's been quite flowing football. Well, they've been key penalties, the, the pass interference, giving the two, ball off the yeah, I think I'd say two key ones each way and then we, yeah. had, we had the and then offsides, haven't we? And the sack, sack being wiped out by the offside. Yeah. So here we go then. The ball looks like it was coughed up there and recovered by the Apache. And we're just waiting for the signal from the referee. They're just conferring yeah. and we'll wait for that hand signal. Daniel Lester there with the carry. And they've given down. it to Apache. <laughs> so the unorthodox <laughs> drive continues. Yeah. Uh, they've been let off the hook, I think, three times on this on yeah. this drive. Uh, and they've ended so. up with the ball in the end zone, first and goal. Uh, sorry, in the red zone, first and goal. Um, while seven points up. So uh, they've certainly had the rub of, 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 the, sort of, of the fortunes, uh, fortunes of this game so far, the, the Apache. Fentrudian is still at quarterback. Spread formation, single back number 26. Sean Griffin. I think you said somebody gave him a shout out for him to get the ball. Looking to pass over the middle. Intercepted. Oh! And he's running. He's, got, he's, got, he's down. He's got past the halfway line. He's got a lot of people blocking he's in front blockers. of him. He looks like he wants to give the ball away because he's running. Oh, he's I'm slowing down. Correctly, but he has given. Number 46 for the Bobcats. Big man runs it all the way downfield. Well, it was, that's a 90 plus yard Nine, yeah. run. We have got zero flags on the field. One hell of a defensive effort there. And that makes the score, pending this up point after, 7 6 to the Apache. Here we, look at the big man coming off here, a big and smile Charles on his Charles face. There. Get that man some oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get back to the game. So they are going for the one point. Yep. Um, oh my God, yeah. And uh, it's, so we, 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 we've got to be in the dying seconds there of the, to, uh, to kick. Of the first quarter.
Fantastic stuff. And the unfortunate thing for number 46 there uh, and the rest of his teammates is they've got to go back on the field. <laughs> you can score a 100 yard, well, rough, near 100 yard TD, but then you've got to get back on the field. So um, good on him. Uh, great stuff from the de defence here. And that makes the score 7 7. Uh, in the first quarter here. Sorry, there's probably a lot of noise. Yeah. We've got a lot of players around us at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some great surely there's going to be some... Uh, Charles Turland. No surely there's no comments about that. That was one of the most exciting things that can happen in a game. Yeah. Unless everyone's still <laughs> celebrating. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but that, what a fantastic way to score and, and to level the game um, and to bring mom it, um, mo momentum back uh, to your side. With the, with the great effort, if he'd have ran faster, he wouldn't have had any blockers in front of him. <laughs> I think that was the advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone caught up with him. Um, I thought he was going to hand the ball off at one point. It looked like he was it, looking yeah, to Yeah, he was, he was flagging. Yeah, yeah, but, but he, yeah. That was around, the, he had about 30 yards to go and he managed to do it. So here fantastic. we go then now. Bournemouth to kick off. I messed up my uh, filming of it at one point. I was filming everyone's head, so I apologise for that, but I was very excited by what was happening. So Hayden Lee, number 27, and Paul number Pierce. 23, Paul Romaniak. Picked up at the 20, and... Uh, it's got to be a... There's a bit of trouble there between number 29 of the... Uh, of the Apache. So down at the 37 yard line. But uh, nothing comes of it. Referee sort of calms the, uh, the sideline there and we continue with the game. So first and 10 here for the Apache. Again, I, I can't, it's, it's crazy. The, the Apache got let off, you know, had fortune three times in a row to get the ball into the red zone. First play, pick six the other way. <laughs> uh. I, I was there just calling if, the Apache if the lucky your, um, ones. If, you, if you're playing your bingo, yeah. we've had the interceptions. We've had the buff punt. Yeah. So here we go then. Bubble pass out to number seven. Max Cheetah there will have the pass covered. So, second down now. Wind feels like it's changed a little bit, like we've got a cross-field win now. Yeah. So here we go then. Two She's receivers to the left, tight end to the right, single back. Back to pass. Throw to number five, Jack White. Nathan saying, what else can this game have? Got to love a line and touch. Saying, it's been, it's been a of everything, everyone, yeah. as you said. Um, then we've got the quarter. Uh, what a pick. Waste the play. Well done, Bobcats. Game on, let's go, Bobcats, and get in Charles Topman. So I assume the, the scorer there uh, is a guy called Charles. You, you'll probably know from the roster. I don't know. I didn't Charles Turlin, number 46 Charles for Turlin. Bournemouth, with that epic yeah. run. Yeah. Is he on the field now? Is he? Is he? Has he managed to recover? I think he's still taking a breather. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I can't spot him on the sideline, but I'm sure he'll be ready to go again soon. This uh, change of quarter here. Let me just uh, reflect that on screen. Um, we'll give him a, an opportunity to get back on the field sooner uh, in in terms of gameplay. Right. So we're now in, uh, start. Of the second quarter in the game's all tied 7 all. So, third and three then for the Aztecs. Apache, sorry. I can see Charles on side. He's actually stretching. <laughs> He's getting ready for his next one. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go then. Two receivers to the left. Single back. Number seven comes in motion, across the middle. QB keeps. Doesn't like what he sees. 
great stuff. Well the, met by the defence there. The Bournemouth, the Bournemouth D line seem to have they seem to be getting the measure of, of who's in front of them. They're, they're playing a lot better, putting a lot more pressure on. Um, if, if I think back to the start of you know the first couple of series, the cube, I know it's a different QB, but he's, he had more time and he was getting out of the pocket, and this, that's not happening at the moment. Yeah. So third down, fourth down, and about five. So we've got a punt into the wind. As I said right at the beginning, I think they were caught out by the QB keep runs. Yeah. And um, now they've adjusted that D line. They just seem to be closing everything down. All right, ball back. Off and the side of his foot. Bouncing around about the 40. He wants to get those extra Lost couple the yards. 32, picked up a gain of three there. His uh, coach will no doubt be very annoyed with him. <coughs> and we'll tell him off when he comes off the field. <laughs> Uh, and sometimes it can be a good heads up play because the defence, the, the, the punting team are all shouting away, away, yeah. away. And then they stop and he's, he, he had the free yard, so. Uh, Conrad here saying heads up play, knowing the situation and jumping that. Someone's got to get that man some oxygen. Fantastic play, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, Johnny Edwards saying that the Apache need their green back, the green machine. <laughs> um, and Conrad saying, yeah, the D line is just overpowering the Apache line. QB has no time. Yeah. Yeah, but um, and, and it'd be interesting to see how long they can do that for. Oh, sorry, guys. I, I was so here we in. go. Ball lofted. Deep throw down to the left-hand side. Calls for PI, but um, referees think otherwise. And uh, there was some contact then. there. So Taron Joe, there was the intended receiver. So, second and ten. Ball handed Run up off the middle. Number 26. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There has been, in the, in the last sort of five minutes, there's been a few little dubious bits of extras, but nothing too insane. Um, and it's all been, I think it's all been since the Bobcats scored their touchdown, actually. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I still think that the game, it's not got too bad. I think the refs are doing a good job of controlling everything. Yep. They're on it straight away. So, Davey Baker there with a the gain of four. Broke the first contact. Uh, end of Q1 elsewhere. The surge, nil. The, the miners, nil. So, the Staffordshire surge and oh. the Lee miners are Red formation. Are equals. Found chance looks to throw over the middle. Oh! oh. 27. Hayden Lee there had a chance on that. Lovely pit, uh, lovely tap uh, on the ball to to get it out of the uh, get, get get it away from the the intended receiver, but he just couldn't quite bring it in once he'd knocked it in the air. But good play. In, in the previous game when we saw these guys playing Hertfordshire, they used that over the middle crossing pattern quite a bit yeah. to effect. But that time, the defence read it very well. So, the slight delay while the medic crosses the field to the other side. So, punt formation. Harrison Cooper to punt. Snaps low, but good. Punt off. Nice punt. Wow. Great tackle straight away. Paul there. Romaniuk there with the return for the Apache. He dodges a couple of uh, would-be tacklers, but that, that third one flew in and just took his uh, took his legs out from underneath him. Really nice tackle there. Um, and he, he he probably gained, what, three, four yards on that from point of catch? It certainly looks like that. It looks like around about uh, first and ten from the 21-yard line. Yeah. So one of the um, deeper starting positions for the Apache this game. Yeah, it's about the same as when they um, the failed fourth down for Bournemouth in the first quarter. So, spread formation, single back. Yeah. Trying a misdirection handoff there, and the defence swarmed it. You had the jet motion look, looking for the handoff, and then the running back. And by the time they actually given it to the person who was carrying it, the defence had covered it. Yeah, Lost of a yard. 
this D-line, I suppose you can. You should also include the the, the blitz in linebackers where relevant, but this D-line, of they're causing a lot of trouble now. Yeah. Um, yeah for, the front seven is the, the easiest way of saying Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, some of the some of these linebackers are just dropping backwards to cover, but obviously a couple of blocking up holes, and it's sort of it's working. That's that's the best way of saying it. So here we go, QB that looks to keep it, and he's yeah, oh, bit of a, an outstretched arm tackle there. Yeah, so not quite a sack, but certainly not the yardage um, that the Apache wanted on that play. Yeah, nearly broke outside contain man down. Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't see that. <laughs> Someone's trying to trick me with a, with a saying Tor Bay winning 21 0 over the Wyverns. I don't, I don't know why people think I'd fall for that. <laughs> like, I used to be one of the biggest trolls in Brickwall. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard rumours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, you've got to try harder than that. Oh, uh, we can't discuss that because of the solicitors. I am trollable. <laughs> some of the some of the attempts in the last few weeks have been weak, particularly that one. So yes, yeah, apologies. We, we, the stopping player, there's a Bournemouth player down, uh, just being intended to. It doesn't look too serious. I, I don't want to make. I don't want to uh, the commentators curse here, but I think the guy's going to be back up on his feet shortly, which is good. Yeah, but the result of the play was a gain of about four yards, so it's going to be third down and about six. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah, players up on his feet, walking off on his own power. Fantastic stuff to see. Uh, just pan away from it. I don't really want to highlight it. I, yeah, he is going off. I was going to say, it looks like he might yeah. be staying on, um, which he wouldn't be allowed to. Uh, the rules indicate that if you have been down for an injury and there's a stoppage, you, you have to go, come off for at least one play. Unless the, two, the head coach calls a timeout. Oh, is that right? You yeah. can get around it by calling a timeout. I didn't Same as if much. a player loses a helmet and then yeah. it's not for a foul yeah. and they go off. If you call a timeout, then they can come back on. But because the clock stopped because of that event, yeah. that person. So here we go then, third and six. Sense. Gives a hand off, delayed, runs into his Just. own player and he's pushed backwards by the D-line. I mean... He handed it off, the, the, the QB handed it off, and he already had defenders on his on his left shoulder as he handed it off. He had one like, of his they, offensive they, they players were, in front of him yeah. as well. The run, well, after the handoff, the player ran into one of his own players. Yeah, just, so they're, they're caught, they, they, this this D line and, and and linebacker or this front seven. I don't think it's a seven though. It feels like a five or a six, but they're causing all sorts of trouble. Uh, and we have another three and out, fourth fourth down uh, punt situation. Uh, for the for the Apache, and um, we should see another good. Hopefully, yeah. Just hopefully. look at it. It's looking like a free, free, free five for this punt. Good snap. Pressure from the outside. Not very, very high. Punt. It's gonna, not a very good punt. This is going to really take go it. anywhere. Yeah. But just need to jump on it. That's it. You know, so, um, don't need to do anything about that. Didn't even get out of their half. Um, it's around the 40-yard 40 40 yard line. line. Yeah, first and 10 for the Net Bobcats. Punt of about 15 to 16 yards. Yeah, and it, so the, the Bobcats start with the ball in the best starting position they've had, I believe, so far. And they are in, just, just inside the, uh, the Apache territory there. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. So here we go then, down chance, back to throw. Deep over the middle. Oh, doesn't bring it down, but that's a really nicely thrown ball. Samuel Waters there with the um, the opportunity. Yeah. We've got a comment here, uh, second one from DJ Stevie C. He says, watching from Hastings, ex-Conquerors head coach and Bobcats were the last team we beat. Their reaction and, and following friendship means I'm firmly in their corners. <laughs> <laughs> So just explaining there is why his allegiance is with the Bobcat. We, we tend to be a bit more biased to the home side, I feel, like when we play. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're, I think I feel like we're sort of supporting the Bobcats to an extent today. Run by number 26, bounces off to the uh, right-hand side. Still on his feet. Nice running from there. Turning and twisting. And I think that was the... 
if I'm not wrong, I think that was the player that fumbled the ball, the running back that fumbled the ball uh, on the turnover. No, it was Davy Baker's the ball that carrier there. Was it? Uh, number 11, uh, Ben Tinsdale, I think, was the... Was the, yeah. the one that coughed it up. Yeah. Unfortunately, Ben stands out in the white Bobcats helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there he is. I can see him on the sideline. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think after his after his pick six, I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if he put Charles in at the backfield. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see it. <laughs> so here we go then. Single back spread formation. Run up the middle again. It was an arm tackle by a an Apache player. Yeah, it just wasn't much in it from him, and he sort of he just. I mean, we had him quite clearly on camera because he was near, near side. Just sort of stood there, didn't he? Yep. Oh, okay, that one's done. Didn't chase it down. Didn't try and get it. Right, First look, down. Got, look like we got a potential injury here, so uh, nothing too serious. But just want to pan away. Yeah. Yeah. Referees have noticed it, and the medic is being called on. Both teams. Oh no. Oh, okay. Well, the head, oh, coach the head coach is, is on, so okay. so the player is coming off. Yeah, I think he, he he gave himself enough time to recover and then stood stood up. But by that time, the referees had decided that he gotcha. um, so stopped the play. Therefore, has to go back in, uh, come back out. Right, game so on. here we go then. Sam Chance spread formation, back to pass, deep into the end zone. Harrison Cooper was the target there. Uh, two Apache defenders. One of those Apache defenders did a inhuman jump. I don't know how he got so high, <laughs> but he did a great job of, uh, uh, of um, breaking the play up. Imagine Leaving the ground an inhuman like, jump in my terms. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, his hips were at like helmet height for the other two players. Like, that, was a, that was a decent jump to get yep. the ball up. So second and 10 then, ball around about the 24 yard line. Delayed handoff, number 26 up the middle. Oh, Davy Baker again with a carry. Haven't seen much of Chris Hobbs since that first couple of no. drives. No, he, they had him changing the scoreboard here in front of us. <laughs> so maybe, maybe he's been demoted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll be back. But uh, yeah, I. I I feel like the offense have started to get the measure of, so the Bobcats offense have started to get the measure of, of, of the Apache defense as well. Um, you know, knowing when to run, knowing when to pass, so that they're, they're sort of certainly so making their mark here. 49, James Gosling in at the running back position now, runs out to a screen position. Screen pass to 83. I mean, Aaron Joe. Close to first down yard. Uh, the Apache is saying fourth, the ref says fourth. Yep. So uh, maybe we'll see Chris Hobbs come on. <laughs> Power this over the line. Uh, Chris here just, just saying that he's watching, for, uh, watching out for his son on the Bobcats, special teams number 42. Uh, Chris Charalambus, hashtag go Bobcats. Yeah, so just to recap, Bournemouth went three and out on their first drive. Apache scored on their first drive. 49 then, is in. They put him in. <laughs> For the that, first down. That was Charles. <laughs> so, no, <laughs> they, uh, James Goslin there, I, number 49. Oh, I thought that, sorry, was it, who was it that scored the touchdown? Was it Char, Charles? 46. 46, sorry. I thought that was them putting yeah. him in then. <laughs> Thought they were taking coaching tips from my commentary, <laughs> <laughs> which I'd I, I, ill-advised. <laughs> yeah, so they stay in the spread formation, single back to the right of the quarterback, Sam Chance. First and ten. Sam rolls out, throws to Roll. the corner. Very high throw. Yeah, yeah, two two Apache put bearing down on him there. So they're they're now in the red zone. Ball just just just. Over 10 yards, isn't it? It's probably about 13 yards there. Yes. Yeah. Right. 
here we go then, second and ten. They're going to run this one to the left. Right. Downs back to pass, looking to his left. Throws to the end zone. Didn't quite get it on tape because we had the sideline in the way, but... Taron Joe there with the diving catch. He got it into his lovely hands. Lovely diving catch. But didn't yeah, did you see? Did it hit his hands? I couldn't yes, see it. Yes, he had it in the hands. Oh. How frustrating is it as a coach to see uh, the ball hit the player's hands and then they just don't bring it in? Because as a player, I'm, I'm always like, oh, it gets frustrating. Is it is equally frustrating? It's when you have coach? the player that catches 99 of those in in practice. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what, yeah I suppose that's yeah. what I was sort of thinking. It's like, you know the player's capable so, um, and they're just not doing it Chris on Holt the is day. now back in. He runs to his right. Just chugging up yard. Yeah, well, they're, they're fourth down. Do they go for a field goal here? Doesn't look like they are. It looks like they're actually going for it. Uh, Timeout call. Timeout to discuss it by Bournemouth. That's their first timeout of the first half. These teams have met eight times, and so far it's been five wins to three to the Apache, and the Apache have won the last three. So, I right. was uh, just looking at some scores elsewhere. So, the, the Lee Miners are 7 0 up against the um, Staffordshire Surge. Uh, this is the game that's being live streamed uh, elsewhere. So, the Northampton Vikings are 22 0 up against um, the Scunthorpe Apache. Thanks everyone for sending those scores in. Just want to check the final score of the uh, the Nottingham game from their live stream. 21-7. So the Nottingham Caesars beat the uh, um, Chester Romans 21-7. So here we go then. Fourth down and about five on the 10-yard line. Sam Chance and Chris Hobbs in the backfield looking to pass. Deep to the outside, caught by number 89, Jason Griffith there with the touchdown. Uh, they've just said first down the other way, hold on. No, okay, that seemed weird, I, I, I saw the line judge this side, he, he signalled for a first down or was that, what signal could that have been that I've maybe misconstrued? Uh, they must have ruled him out of bounds. It was towards the back of the ah. end zone. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. So it wasn't a touchdown. Yeah, so the So it is first down this way. Yeah. And again, Apache have a really tough starting position. Uh, deep in their own half. It's about the 14 the or 15 line. yard line. Oh, it's outside the 10, is it? Yeah. Let's see what they can do. Actually, no, no. I don't, I think it was probably inside the 10 by the looks of it now. Number seven, 17 with a run up the middle. And again, this dominance uh, in the trenches continues with the Bobcats. They, they're, and they're fired up as well. Um, Apache are going are to have to deal with this. They'll probably be grateful of a half-time break <laughs> when it comes. Just give them, give them some, some time to sort of recoup and rethink. But at the moment, it's just heavily dominant they're being heavily dominated by I'd the say uh, they're actually Bobcats. back on about their own seven now with a loss of a yard on that play yeah they were obviously with difficult angle long way from that sort yeah, of side yeah. of we're, the field we're right at the other end of the field trying to film this so here we go then man goes in motion number seven takes the ball on the motion play but he's they're caught in the backfield again it would seem that they've got that spy on number seven after all yeah. Nathan said Aztecs 14, Cambridge 7, Q2. That's not correct. It's 7 all. Now, this is interesting. It looks like they're on about their four, four yard line now, third down. Oh, they lost yards again. I, don't, I, don't, I thought that was good for a sort of neutral that, play. No, the, the, the tackler was on the jet. As soon as he took the handoff on the jet sweep, he was tackled. Wow. So, QB's in his own end zone now almost. I mean, pressure from the defence, looking to throw, to right. 
He's kept it. There's and we a got flag. a flag on the play. That's in holding territory, isn't it? Sort of thing. Is that would, would you say? Sorry, the flag's there, over there, here. there is a player outside off off his feet. Remember, we got this new blocking rule that you can't cut block anybody outside of the tackle box yeah. now. So we'll see. There is a player injured as well, just to let everyone know. So, but it, it, do, it doesn't again doesn't look like too bad of a one. He's just being uh, tended to by the medic. So the play was a third down on around about the four yard line, and QB rolled out to pass. No flag on the play. The way the defence are protesting, it was probably that hold or that illegal block on the outside. They, in their opinion, but the referees have said no flag. Hold on, someone in the comments, they said, Cambridge Instagram has got 14 7 to the score, now 27. It's 7 all, right? Uh, this game? Yeah. 7 7. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Aztecs, Cambridge. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Nathan. That's my fault. Different oh, Bristol. Yeah, it was the other Bristol team. Yeah. Aztecs uh, are winning 20 to 7 over the Cambridge Cats. <laughs> yeah, so, so Bristol sorry, are playing guys. the Cats. And, and Bristol, Bristol were playing, playing the, the Cats. Cats. Yeah, <laughs> the Bobcats. Yeah, sorry. That, that's my fault. I didn't mean to cause any concern, confusion or upset. Yeah. Offence or anything else. What, what, what have we got going on here, Mike? What's the call being? I, the the he, flag just was waved off. Was it? And it's fourth down and nine. So okay. he did get beyond the line of scrimmage. scrimmage. Yeah, he picked up some positive. That was quite clear from the run. He picked yeah. up some positive yards. But he's still only around about the six or seven yard line yeah, on so this fourth down. Punter should be in his own end zone, right? Looks yes. like it. Paul Romaniuk? Ramanuk? Paul Romaniuk. Romaniuk. Apologies, Paul. And there he is there in the middle of the screen, as you can see, he takes the ball. And he, he another he short punt. Another punt here. They just need to leave it. It's probably not got out. Is it bang on the edge of the red zone? Round about the 20 yard line, looks like. Yeah. So Bobcat's given a, 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 another another massive lifeline, uh, op well, opportunity to score. Hopefully they capitalise on this one. I, th I would have thought they would have at least taken the field goal in the last one rather than just turn o over on downs. Putting faith in their defence, I think. Fair enough, yeah. Their defence has been solid. <laughs> but then, you know, in a game like this, points are what matter, right? Like, That's right. Uh, but I suppose it's early in the game. So Sam Chance fakes the, the screen pass, throws to the outside. Pass intended to Jason Griffiths again, number 89. I think this is the uh, like wide receiver number one, as it were. Like, is he is he like the go-to guy? Because he he's also the the punt returner, isn't he? And kick returner. Which number one? As in number one, the the, the number one ranked receiver. Oh, okay. for the for the Bobcats. Yes, it's 89 on the outside and number five went across the middle. But oh, there's 89 on the middle pass. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> They say it was coughed up, but I think the, the forward motion had stopped dead. there. Clearly, there was yeah. a second push. Yeah, the, I think more throws have gone to number 89. Um, yeah, it's been the target man yeah. more often. Although we've seen a few to Taron Joe as well, number 83. Mm. But the interesting thing is, is that number 82 is in the game now. Harrison Cooper, he's the kicker. He's a Portsmouth University Destroyers player. See that from the so, uh, lowers. Got the purple stripe yeah. down the side. And off to Chris Hobbs. A couple Hobbs of people whiff their arms at feet. him. Look at him run. Now we've got a push. Did he go in? No, it's no. down. Ref's running with one hand up, but he got that. He got. He's got that painfully close. It seems. Yeah. From this angle. Why can't they all play up this end? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think there's always a trend in that. Yeah, it doesn't matter where I go. So, second and goal me. from around about the two yard line now after that run. Hell of a powerful run there from Chris Stone on his feet. Yeah, there, there were a couple of opportunities to stop the game uh, early on. 
And then the rest of the team got move, behind him. He gave him a good momentum push. So, mm. so here we go then. Let's see if they let him. Spread cap formation. It off. Oh, QB and keeper. And it looks good. Q, uh, no signal yet. Yep, signal there now. There we go. Touchdown. Sam Chance with the QB sneak there. Of course, Sam scores the points. So we're now second quarter. Um, we're probably about two thirds through the second quarter, if I was to guess. And uh, the Bobcats now take the lead for the first time in the game, 13-7, pending this what looks like a, a, a one-point uh, attempt. Yeah. So Harrison Cooper is in now for this one point. Snap, held, kicked. Good. Good. There's a lot goes on in that half a second or whatever it is. A lot can go wrong. But they, they nailed it. It's now 14-7. Uh, Paul just confirming that the Caesars are divisional champions. It's not divisional, they're conference champions, just to let you know. Uh, they win the Div 1 championship in the playoffs. But yeah, yeah, good to know that they've won their conference. Bobcats are missing three of their top five receivers today. Edwards number 10, Higgins number 14, and Howard number 80. A lot of lads stepping up. Yeah, that's good to see. Um, sorry, guys, I keep, the camera keeps going. Uh, nice to see the Bobcats running the ball more from, uh, from Russ there. Yeah, so we're late in the second quarter now, and Bournemouth kicking off again. Uh, have they got an... Yeah, it's, sorry, I, I was thinking they were kicking from the wrong line there, but it's 35, isn't it? The, cor the correct phrase is it's 15 yards from halfway. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So when you play on any other type of field, you always kick off 15 yards from halfway, halfway. not the 35-yard line. Gotcha. Ah. On a 100-yard field such as this, it is the 35. Yeah. Here we go with the kick. Bit of a low pooch. 23 with the, with the carry. Oh, he slipped there. So Paul Romaniuk there with the carry again. <laughs> I mean, there was a scandal about that last season, wasn't there, about inappropriate hand placement during tackles? That does ring a bell. It, it was like an image of one, wasn't there? I think that was going around. Yeah. Although there was a, yeah, there was a, I think it was Uniball that the Baffer had to release a statement yeah. about it. Yeah, yes, that's right. <laughs> grabbing, <laughs> grabbing other players' genitalia. Okay, so <laughs> Fenn back at quarterback, number 17. Number seven goes in motion. He looks to throw to 89. TJ Ajayi there. The receiver. I didn't that toilet. So second down and ten now at around about the thirty four yard line. Looking to pass, throws outside to number five. Perry Pedroza there with the tackle. Jack White with the reception. Third down and five. Number seven goes in motion across the formation. 17 looks to throw to 89 again. Uh. 
CJ there, number 89 with the reception. Uh, uh, sorry, with the incompletion. If he'd have made that ball, he would have free running into the end zone. So just over a minute left in the half. So, so you just get back in the camera position, just had a technical issue, we just sorted out. So punt formation. Jason Griffith back to receive on the 20 yard line. A better punt this time. Bounces at the 40 and rolls forward. And it's down and controlled at the 30 yard line. So about a minute left in the half. Yep. And uh, just elsewhere, Staffordshire Surge and Lee Miners is still 7 0 to the Miners in the second quarter. We'll bring you up there with all the other scores. Usually, uh, we, we try and do it after half time, get, some chance, get a chance to. So, one minute 23 left. 14 7 to Bob Bobcats. So James Gosling, the single back now. Oh. Offside by the defence. Ah, false start on the offence. This is uh, Hobbs changing the, the score. <laughs> That's how much they respect him at Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is good with numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Sam Chance looks Pulls to throw deep air. over the middle. That's Was not that going to be a catch. gone back it wasn't an incomplete catch i don't know what's going on here let's see yeah def definitely uh, it, the, the, it was ball was at the ground when he made the catch i can appreciate what he's saying but the ball would have helped him make the catch and therefore it's an incomplete pass second and 15. okay so it wasn't incomplete Low, Low snap. snap, Sam's looking to throw, rolls out to his left. Throws deep to 87 who completes the pass and is out of bounds. <laughs> Great Oliver play. Ashton there. Oh, there's no completes flag. for the first down. We do have number 15 for the Apache complaining, um, but there is no first, uh, but there is no flag. Yeah, apologies for any language you hear. That football is a very emotive sport. So first and ten on about the 45 going in now. Around about a minute left in the half. Sam Chance back looking to throw. Throws outside to Jason Griffiths, who catches the ball and goes out of bounds. Well, he doesn't we? I know fights. he may have stayed it. Well, there's another catch for Jason Griffiths there, number 89. And another first down. Bournemouth moving the ball well now after that little offside. It's got to be coming up for our time out. Timeout Bournemouth. Yeah, That's go, their yeah. second timeout of the half. And you can expect them to call their third <laughs> uh, unless they score on their 46. 46, 46 seconds. seconds left. We've got a good friend Derek Burridge here who's watching the game and giving us some feedback on the time. Good to see Derek looking so healthy. Normally be inside playing with his Lego now. <laughs> hey, I join him. 
I've got a collection of my own. <laughs> You've got a Lego collection on top of everything else? Yeah. Talk, talk to me about that, because I, I bet it's OTT. Uh, what have what, I got? What, I've, well, I've got OTT from my perspective. <laughs> the easiest way is to show you a photograph of the, um, the, the lounge is the Lego room. The dining room is the war games room. And the upstairs back bedroom is the office. Sam Chance froze outside. They want it straight away. Karen Joe was the target there. Yeah. Yeah, you have to show me pictures, Mike. Yeah, so I've got a four room house. Uh, I live alone, so that's why it's. <laughs> and your hobbies take over. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. That's not when I'm out doing American football, of course. Yeah. So, second and ten now, then, for Bournemouth. 43 seconds remaining. They do have one timeout. Spread formation. Jason Griffith and Karen Joe both on the right hand side. Over the middle to Joe Gritch. Oh! Well broken up there by the defensive player. Mm. Number nine, Kieran Boyce for the Apache. We've got uh, Ken has asked for the, uh, the Warriors scores. The Warriors are really good at posting on their um, Instagram stories play-by-play -play stuff. So um, have a look there, Ken. If not, you know, like I said, I'll have a look at halftime and I'll, I'll bring scores to everyone. But Warriors have always been really good for um, following along their games so, in their stories. 38 seconds, third and eight. Well, their Instagram stories, sorry, not just So here stories. we go. Same formation for Bournemouth. They stay in this one for most of the game. Sam Chance back, he looks. Over to the outside, 87. Oliver Ashton. So a little bit high there. It's fourth and ten. Looks like the field goal unit's coming out for balls on the 31. So 28 seconds left. Ball is on the 31. So this is 48 yarder. Yeah. 47, I've been told. Coach Rains is here watching today. Thank you, Coach. And you've got the uh, you've got a man for the for the Apache waiting back there in case the ball falls short. It's it will be a live ball and he'll be able to return it. Let me zoom right out. Actually, no, I'll zoom in just for the snap. Good snap. Solid kick, but it's not going to have the legs or the direction, and that's downed and out of bounds, out of the back of the end zone. So we're in the dying seconds of the half here and we can see the Apache offense now coming on the field. Um, for what, what, we're probably gonna see three or four, two, maybe three plays out of this? 21 seconds, three timeouts. Oh, they've got three timeouts, okay, cool. Yeah, so we, should, we could see a bit more. Let's see if the, uh, the Bournemouth D-line uh, are still as rampant. So here we go then. Fen rolls off to his right hand side, runs out of bounds. Flag on the play, in the backfield. Is it? Just went for the ref. Cut block there, on by the offense, 15 yard penalty. So that's that new rule you were talking about coming into effect, right? Cut yeah. block outside of the uh, tackle box. And 15 seconds remaining. That's a hell of a, hell of a punishment for uh, second and twenty-five. For that, it just shows how hard they're coming down on it, right? Like to knock back fifteen yards. If that had been a, if that had been uh, a defender taking out an offensive player that low, um, would that have been an, fifteen like yards 15 forward and an automatic, automatic first down? Yeah. Not that it's, it's obviously more unlikely, but. So, run play up the middle now. Number 26, Sean Griffin.
And there we go, clock expires at the half. Bournemouth Bobcats 14, Bristol Apache 7. Yes, so uh, very exciting game we've got here. Um, it could go either way. Um, certainly, the, it seems more that the Bobcats have had the measure of uh, uh, of the Apache in this uh, after the, the you know the first couple series. Um, but yeah, really good one. Hopefully, we'll, we'll see you guys back here in about 20 minutes. And um, yeah, uh, I'll try and get the scores, and we'll, we'll update you just before kickoff. We were just asked about that. We haven't seen anything.
Right, welcome back. We've got, there we go. Right, both teams set up for the kickoff. Uh, me and Mike are going. Um, I, did, I did look at some scores at half time. I saw uh, the, the Warriors game had only just kicked off. Um, and it's either 6 or 7 0 um, to the Warriors. Um, Ken said here it's 6 0. Well, yeah, didn't see an extra point being kicked on the. But on their Instagram stories, they're starting to post sort of play by play. They. Uh, they got a fumble recovery from the from the opening kickoff and had a really short field. So very quick score for the Warriors there. We did have a few more other scores uh, sent through. And I did have them out in front of me. And I can't find them now. <laughs> so give me a sec. Finishing off my halftime meal deal. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome back. Are we ready? Bournemouth Bobcats 14, Bristol Apache 7. Yeah, and what have we got elsewhere in the league? Uh, the Blitz B are, are leading. The Essex Spartans 45 nil at half time. Big score line there. Um, but yeah, we'll, I'll keep an eye out from all the, it's not, the scores are a bit scarce across the uh, league today. Um, but I will, we will update you. I did have a good look at half time. I'm just swapping over the. Uh, <coughs> I'm not the scoreboarder. I don't give a fuck. What? Just trying to tell me to change it to third quarter. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I like I. <laughs> <laughs> what are you telling me? Yeah, the, the rostrum we're using today does have the scoreboard on it, but um, Chris Hobbs is the designated and we yeah, don't want I'm to not, interfere not, with their. I'm not changing the scoreboard. Do you think <laughs> I am? <laughs> <laughs> so here right. we go then. We're getting, getting shouted Harrison by Cooper on the kicking off. To change the Scoreboard, but it's nothing to do with us. Low drive into the wind. Picked up by 27. Hayden Lee. Still on his feet. Last ball. ball. And recovered, recovered by it. the it Apache looked, by the looks of it. It looks like it looks like the Apache recovered it. I think I think they did. It looks pretty clean. Clean. Um, yeah, number 24. Connor found. Clean. Got the ball on that one. I wonder if that player's going to come on the field and keep telling us to change the scoreboard. <laughs> it's because it's, it's their court that he wants. <laughs> Hopefully he'll come over and change it himself. <laughs> Have you changed it to the third quarter, Steve, on the, on the street? Oh, no, I was, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, I, that's what I thought he was there talking we go. about. <laughs> okay, so. Number 17, score back. Back to pass. Deep to number seven. Overthrows both of them. Again, there was that look at the back. Wind is blowing in that sort of direction as well, but it feels a bit flat. They, they're more, the Apache are more impassioned about the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, second and 10. Number 88 there for Bournemouth, had a, a swinging arm. Jonathan Gentile slowed him down and gave the rest of the defence time to get to him. Loss of a yard on the play. Third down in 11. At least the, uh, the Apache punts will be with the win this time. <laughs> At least for this quarter. So Fentrudian, quarterback number 17 for the Apache. False start number 84. So bring up third and 16.
So third and 16, ball's on the 38-yard line. Fenn looks to pass, breaks outside, runs. What was that, three, four yard run? It's got to bring up a punt. Oh, a bit longer than that. But it's the, Joe it's Genovese with the tackle there. It was about a 10 yard run, wasn't it? About 10, yeah, so fourth down and six. So punting comes on. So for Romaniuk to punt, number 23. Stands on his own 35 yard line, left hash mark. Good snap. Nice punt. Jason Griffith, number 89, picks it up. He's Nicely chased down there and brought down by, I think it's number 27 for the, uh, for the Apache. Hayden Lee, 27, yeah. Good dogged pursuit there to bring down the returner. Seems like they're setting up around the 11 yard line. So, um, already had nearly three minutes of this third quarter. So, Bournemouth stick with their spread formation, single back. QB keep, sound chance out to the right hand side. Runs for a gain of around about eight yards. Chris Hobbs in it running back, that's why he hasn't changed the um the quarter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they'll <laughs> complain about it to him. Yeah. Once they figure out who it is that should be doing it. Second and four now then. Chris Hobbs runs up the middle. Low tackle there. Just short of the first down. Ollie Maskell's our referee today. Victor Yanareri, the down judge. Scott Castle, the line judge. Julian Malia, the back judge. And unfortunately, I can't remember the name of the umpire. <laughs> Dan. Thank you. Short, short yardage run up the middle there to pick up the first down yardage. They come out of their, um, the Bobcats come out of their red zone now, just, just shy of it. And um, looks around was, about the 24 yard line, yep. Yeah, I, I, I think with both of these teams driving down the field this far is a bit of a tall order. I don't think we've seen, oh no, we've seen the, the pick six, but that wasn't a drive. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know that this, this will be a scoring drive for them. I think. So flag on the play. Flag. Although to be fair, the, um, the Apache's opening drive was quite a long, quite a long drive well put together yeah if i remember rightly actually no it wasn't it was a swift punt wasn't it so their, their first drive was the qb runs yeah they had, yeah that's right they had yeah. field position and then they almost scored again through a series of unfortunate series <laughs> so charles terland has probably got more yards than both teams combined in this game <laughs> quick throw there from sam chance Taron Joe, the target. Yeah, so it, I, I think this Apache D line isn't isn't as uh, commanding as the Bobcats, but but the secondary are doing a good job, um, sort of closing things down. So second and fifteen now after the uh, penalty. The Aztecs have beaten the Cats 20, 29 seven. Sound chance to pass, deep to the outside. 
Picked up by number nine. Oh, did he pick it off? He stepped out straight away. He only needs one foot in, doesn't only he? Only needs one foot in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he didn't, he definitely didn't have one foot. He definitely was only a one footer, but that's enough. Yeah. They're not giving it him. So he's got to have, he had one foot in bounds. And he has to have possession, be full Needs possession before the second foot comes right, down. Right, okay. So I can only assume that the it's it's whether or not he had full control before the second foot came down. Yeah. So okay. that's one from replay. But still, third down and fifteen now. Ball's on around their own twenty-yard line. Sam Chance and Chris Hobbs in the backfield. Sam Chance looks to throw over the middle, number five. Cough, from this angle, it looked like he'd thrown it straight at number 54, the, the, the linebacker, but obviously it went over his head. But, uh, anyway, so we get uh, ten over on downs here. Well, well, we'll have a punt first. We expect that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't, yeah, I shouldn't get ahead of myself. <laughs> uh, but it's, uh, yeah, it's fourth down and, and the Bobcats are punting. Uh, and they're punting into the wind. So we, we saw a couple of uh, um, Apache punts that, that just really didn't yeah. go anywhere. So it um, be interesting to see uh, how the Bobcats handle all this. Yeah. They're calling time out. Yeah. The person that's late on is the long snapper. Is it? <laughs> it's just a big gap over there. So, um, a very disappointing timeout taken there from the Bobcats. The coach will no doubt will be upset, especially on a play that you're going to give the ball away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it had been with the wind, I'd have probably let, taken the delay. But going mm. into the yeah, wind. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, those are precious yards, aren't they? So. Timeout's ending then. Is there a mandatory one minute. pause period? One minute. Yeah. Sure. It can be shorter if both teams, are, if, if, depending on the reason for the timeout. Yeah. If both teams are ready to go. High snap. And low punch, it's going to take a, an Apache bounce. It just, it didn't even get to the, it, I think it bounced on the stick, didn't it? On the, on the, uh, on the marker and then just went back. What's that net total on that punt? 10 yards? I would say it was only five. It's only gone to the thirty. Well, well, uh, weren't they? Wasn't it fifteen yards? Sorry, yeah, they were on the fifteen. So fifteen yards net net punt. Yeah. 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 I think I wouldn't be surprised, and I think it would be a good call for these teams to just go for it on fourth. <laughs> <laughs> when when they're coming time this way. Left in the game. Number seven goes in motion, 26 takes a hand off up the middle. Joe Genovosa with the tackle there. Luke Holloway, sorry. Sean Griffin with the carry. Only flying a shark kite over just on the back. <laughs> Lovely, I've been watching it, yeah. I'll just show everyone. There it is, shark in the air. Okay, second and five now then. Two receivers to the left. Tight end and the wing back. Number seven carries it. Oh, I could, he completely faked me out. I got faked out by that. <laughs> I was following the QB. Yeah, number seven, sort of like, he's, he's, Lining up behind the tackle or the guard, but Is in a wing position rather than a running back. Yeah. And so it was a, almost a very short jet sweep there. Yep. For a gain of only about one yard, third and four.
So as you can see, number seven now is just lining up just behind the, the left guard, just in front of the quarterback, number 17. Hand off to number 26 up the middle and he's met by the defense. Wow. Joe Genovosa with the tackle again. Fourth down and five, fourth, maybe six. Solid defense there. Just looking at the Warriors, blitz game. Uh, score remains the same, six or seven nil. I think it's six. Um, but quite a lot of action there. Catch up, uh, if, you, if you want to have a look at what the, uh, how the players are going, you can go and have a look so at that. So here we go Instagram then, spread story. formation, going for it on fourth down. QB back to pass, looks outside to number five, catches, and forced out of bounds. Looks like he got the first down. They're getting some positive yards here. This is this is a good little run for the uh, for the Apache. They obviously had a short field, but they're making the most of it, and they're now in the red zone. First down on the round about the thirteen yard line. Jack Waite, number five, there with that completion. He now sets off onto the right hand side. Trips right, single back now. QB looks, throws out to number five on that little hook pattern into incomplete. Was that tipped or was it just he just threw a duck? It, I I didn't see a tip or a signal for for a tip from a referee, mm. but yeah, it, was, it looked like a duck. Yeah. So we'll be second and ten now. So change of running back now, number 29, Nicholas Noonan comes in. So spread formation on the left hash mark. QB takes a hand off. They got him. Number 88 and 97, Rory Gallagher and Jonathan Gentile. Could this be a face cage? They seem to be sort of scrumming with him for a while. Like, just seems an odd flag there. Let's see what Ollie's got to say. Yeah. I'm, I'm some sort of genius. Like, yeah. So that would have been probably on 90, 88, 88. Was from behind was grabbing the shirt. Yeah. And 97 comes in. So, so that's going to give him a first and goal around about the eight yard line. Now they're really going to test the uh, Bobcats front seven uh, metal here. See what they're made of. Odds, uh, they're, they're up against it. So here. Two receivers to the left, tight end to the right, single back. QB keeps, looks to throw over the middle into the end zone. Trying to see who the intended. 97 was the intended target there. I didn't know. I, from this Stanley. angle, couldn't really see it. What, 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 was it? It looked like the ball went up and down quite it was, quickly. It was a fade was it to low? the back of the end zone. And yeah. um, 97's a tall guy. Yeah. And I think it was too low for him. So, yeah, I thought it was a low one. So we're second and goal. Yep. Two receivers to the left, QB looking to throw again, throws to number five, caught, bobbled, and tackled by number nine. David Isaacs there with the tackle. Well controlled by the receiver. Jack Waite caught the ball, bobbled it, but maintained it through the tackle. Third and goal now. Zoom out a little bit. I wasn't quite there with that one. Wasn't expecting such a, such a wide screen. <laughs> Dude, the ball must have travelled 20 yards. It went one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two receivers and the tight end on the right. Single back. QB looks to throw to his left to number five again. 
Couldn't see the um, outcome except no. for the ball flying off over the heads of both of them incomplete. Fourth and, uh, down. There were, there were some calls from the yeah. uh, Apache sideline calling for PI, uh, pass interference there. But ref, the, the ref was right there. Do you know what I mean? Like, that, that was a... Uh, well, that's, that's one of the unfortunate things. Many people make a call from distance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As I say, we're estimating yeah. what yard... Yeah, the well, ball's and, on, and, and the people are saying from here, it, oh, that's right? the first down, that's the first down. Yeah. How can you tell? Yeah. You know, there, there's, there's two guys in black and white yeah. stripes that will probably have the best view of anybody. And the people from the sideline have got to look through, what, ten other players yeah. to see it. So yeah. here we go then. Trips, motion. QB keeps it, going to his right. Throws over the middle to number five. It looks like he broke the plane, it did. This, this, game, this game is amazing. <laughs> So, a touchdown for the uh, for the Apache, um, and pending the point after, they could they could equalise here. Yeah, number five, Jack White there with the touchdown. So a huge disadvantage this wind, and it has been for everyone, isn't it? You know, if if if, if you if you come in left to right as we're watching it. Um, but, it's, it's As really we were discussing before things. the game, wind seems to be I mean, most fields that we go to. Yeah, there's always wind from one direction. Wind direction. factor. We need to start playing in some domes. So that <laughs> Apache now take a timeout because their special teams are. It's, yes, special teams are costing timeouts for both these teams, both these sides, aren't they? Not what you want, yeah. especially in the second half. You can sort of handle it in the first half, but. Those are precious timeouts for the second half. Could yeah, mean the, the difference the, in even, even with the, the larger squads, we don't. Most teams don't have a dedicated special team squad that they yeah. can send on and off. Oh, so yeah. many players are on several special teams. Yeah, and, and the longer the game goes on, the more the more substitutions and swap outs are made. Yeah, I'm taking that role myself. You've, you've got you know you've got five lists of names, <laughs> and then one person says he's injured, yeah. and you're changing him on several different. Special team formations. Yep. And then you still. And of course, the only other thing is everybody shouts one more, but they don't tell them where the position should be lined up. Yeah, that's right. So here we go then with, with the <laughs> kick. Snaps controlled and it's locked. locked. An extremely important ball. I don't think the ball's going to go anywhere here. We're just going to see a scrum. Yeah. But uh, what an important play that was. I'll see if I can get a replay on it. Yeah, here we go. You see the. No, we just see the scrum after, unfortunately. But what a key play that is. Um, so the Bobcats remain in front and will receive the ball. They're yeah, winning. Not, the holder had to reach up for that and then bring it down. Yeah. So that's what, I think that took the time. Precious off. time, yeah. So yeah, the snap, the snap was a little bit, a little bit high. Didn't give the holder much time, um, and the Bobcats are able to come through and block the kick. So score here now in the in the third quarter is the Bournemouth Bobcats 14, um, the Bristol Apache 13. What a game this is! Be yeah. midway through this third quarter. This is the sort of stuff we like to live stream, and you don't know what's going on until the end. Well, you don't know the outcome until the end, should I say? You know what's going on. Yeah, Bob, Bob, Bobcats need to win to keep their playoff life, but also. The Apache, have, um, they've played one less game and, and they could be playoff contenders, right? So th this is this is a really important game for both sides. So Returner there gets past the first uh, would-be tackler, but the second and third straight on him and bring him down. Uh, nice return, actually. You know, anything anything. I think that was Tim Chapman, was number 19, with that return. Yeah, any, anything past the 20-yard line is, you know, decent for a return because... The 20 yard line's the. Uh, That's the benchmark, yeah. If it would touch back, it's the, the 20. Yardage, yeah. Uh, but I don't, I don't think many special teams think in those terms, but I always have done. I think it, it makes sense. If you're going to field it, you've got to get at least to the 20, right? Like, but anyway, so first and 10. Right. With flag thrown immediately. 12 uh, players on the defence. There was a player running off to the sideline who didn't get was? there. What's that penalty? Is that a five yarder? Five yards, yeah. Repeat down. Repeat down. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't lose a down on that, would you? Yeah. The way you could tell that is the referee on the far side had his hand on his head. Right. Which says too many. Right, okay. If he sticks his arm out with his thumb down, yeah. that's too few. Too few. 
And so he's he's counting defence. Is, is it the same? The two wing the... officials count the defence. The umpire and the referee count the offence. Right. So and that's why it... you'll see him give him thumbs up just at the start of each play. Good count. So, just over three and a half minutes with the clock running in this fourth quarter. Bobcats up by one. Fake the jet sweep. Chris Hobbs. Hobbs is, a, is an animal and <laughs> continues to be so. Looks like he's got enough for the first down on that carry. I wonder if Hobbs will change the scoreboard now that the Apache have scored. <laughs> <laughs> so, first down for Bournemouth on the 44 yard line. We were talking about the Bobcats being pass heavy, but they've been. Uh, we got another run by Chris Hobbs. Gain of about four on that six on that. Sorry, four gain of six. Yeah, it's really like this field position and um, really uh, like and the, the down and distance really opens up the playbook here. Second down and about four. You can sort of do anything, right? Like, there's, there's sort of no. That's right. No play you can't call here, you know, and it, it, defensively it's, it's difficult because you've got to play it true. You can't sort of cheat, um, cheat up or, or line up incorrectly here. So it uh, be interesting to see what the Bobcats do. Yeah. really plays into their hands. Well, a little bit of miscommunication um, there. Lineman came off and the, his replacement wasn't ready. <laughs> got to be ready to make a play every time. So, man in motion. It's a little pop jet pass, Ooh, but he ran into, into his Chris Hobbs. Player. Um, Ryan here is saying, uh, if Apache win these last three games, they can get playoffs, yeah. Uh, remaining games, this one, South Wales and Oxford, yeah. So yeah, I, I was aware of that. I had a look at it myself uh, last night. Um, Russ has said, the D tackle number 90, Lewis Khan, or Kane, um, nicknamed the postman because he always delivers. <laughs> Yeah, Oliver Ashton on that jet sweep carry there. And we'll have to credit Chris Hobbs with the tackle. <laughs> Just ran into his player, didn't he? Unfortunately. So here we go then. Deep pass down the sideline. It's caught by number five. <laughs> what a catch. Let's watch that again. Out of bounds at the 14 yard line. He is full up in the air, number five. Samuel Waters. Oh, fantastic catch there by Samuel, is it? Fantastic play. <laughs> right in front of us as well. There's so a lovely little highlight there for yard you, Samuel. Line, then. So it's all come together now. We had a good kickoff return. <laughs> good solid mix of run and pass. Now we're down and nearly in, in the red zone. David Baker at running back here. Takes the ball, a little bit. Oh, of... they run into each other. Why are we watching it? What a shame. Down to the 10 yard line. Just will watch that, see if QB takes the ball. A little bit of confusion on the mess there to yeah. Sam Chandler. Counts even. Oh. 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 Just when we were getting the action. <laughs> Just as the ball gets right in front of us, yeah. they move it away. <laughs> I always like, yeah, everybody's got like a referee card where they write down, all of them write down the captains, timeouts. When they throw a penalty right. flag, they write it down. Right. And one of the referees keeps a master total. Right. So at the end of a game, if they've been assessed, they'll, they'll, the, the assessor will ask to see their referee card. Right. And they should have everything recorded down. that their yeah. position should have yeah so it should be down and distance where the ball is which hash mark mm. and so we're miles away i'll zoom in um i just looked at the, the for the warriors blitz update they, they've just gone into the second quarter and it is in fact the warriors seven nil so they did they did get their extra point it just wasn't uh, captured on their um on their instagram stories 
So but we can now. confirm the ball is on the 10 yard line because that's where it was before they walked. And they, they've got to get to the two yard line for a first down. Sam Chance throws over the middle in and out of the receiver's hands. I think he surprised himself with that one hitting his hands. Yeah. So that brings up third down. Let's see if I can find any other scores in Brick Ball. Well, that wind's picking up and swirling now. So, so at the Aztecs are beating the Cats 35-9. Hand off left. Stopped by the defence. The Rams were winning, the, the Rams were beating this team 53 0 at half time. That was 24 minutes ago. Uh, the Edinburgh Wolves are winning 24 0 over the Leicester Panthers. It's now half time there. So. Fourth down and eight from the 10 yard line now. Uh, the Northumberland Vikings are beating the Scunthorpe Alphas 22 0. Just gone past half time there. Q third quarter underway. That's a live stream if you want to go and watch it. Although I'd rather you watch that. Sam one. Chance looks to throw. <laughs> Incomplete. Oh, I'm, do you know what? I'm quite That would have been the field goal. Oh. They've, they've had a fantastic drive, yeah. everything's worked. Until yeah. they've got down to that ten-yard line. But I, I, I'm just—I've been quite disappointed with the number of dropped catches in this game. I, yeah, it's windy, but the wind seems—I don't think it doesn't feel that windy at this level. I mean, I'm, I'm on a platform; it, I'm, yeah. it doesn't feel that windy. I, I'm quite surprised about the number of balls that are hitting hands. Although the, there was the comment in. that some of the um, starting receivers and other people are getting their opportunity. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, fair enough for the for maybe one side but I don't know if that's the, well we don't know if that's the case on both sides but still yeah so here we go then Apache starting on their own 10 yard line run outside uh, David Isaacs there with the tackle uh, the Elsewhere, the Tamworth Phoenix in the Premiership North have beat the um, Merseyside Nighthawks 45 0. So we've got a few more scores than what I thought. <laughs> so a short gain on that run, second and about eight. <laughs> Two receivers to the right, tight end, and the receiver out to the left, single back. Gibby looks to pass, keeps it, oh, and he is sacked. Fantastic. From the, I don't know if that was the edge, a, a linebacker. But David he, Isaacs off the edge there, number nine. David Isaacs, isn't he? What, a, like, what speed and, and conviction he had in that. In that if you um, remember, he tackle. did have one in the first half. Yeah, he did. Yeah, that was right. offside. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. He got, well, was he offside or was that was an offside? I don't know yeah. if it was him, but it was a. So, a cheater taking down a gazelle. Yeah. That was. <laughs> it's like awesome. And he's, it looks like he's in the safety position, so maybe it was a safety blitz. I'm not sure. The match cheater's number 43, not number nine. Hey? <laughs> match cheater, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said Very cheaters good. and gazelles. So here we go then, third and 15. Back to pass. Under looks pressure. to run out the middle. Spins out of the tackle. Straight into another one. Lots of flags. Well, two flags. That play got a bit messy, didn't it? It did. Uh, where did the I can't see where the flags came from, but the, somebody threw the ball out of bounds from the play, so. It was number 97, Roy Gallagher, was the first one there. Yeah. And then others were there to make the tackle. So several of the Bournemouth players are indicating safety. And so here we come, Ollie Maskell, the referee. Let's zoom in on Ollie. <gasps> so it's a safety. Yep. 
Yeah, okay, so another two points for Bournemouth. So they didn't get the three that you wanted them to, Mike, but they did get a two. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's, so the call, just sorry, the, just to uh, articulate, the call was intentional grounding. Um, and uh, from, B, so he must have been in the end zone to Any get Any offensive those. penalty that's committed in the end zone is a safety, so a hold or a, a block. So in this case, intentional grounding in the end zone is no a safety. Way. I never knew that you... I never knew that you could so you could not have the ball and yeah. so, you, so just over 12 minutes in the half and Bobcats now up 16 to 13. Yeah. So so what so just to go back to that if I if I'm an O lineman and I hold someone in the end zone you're giving away a I'm safety. I'm giving away no way. I never and, knew that. Cuz it's a safety you're kicking off from your 20 and giving the other team the ball back which is what we're seeing here. Yep. Wow. wow. Just over 12 minutes in the in the quarter or the game now. I've always felt this was a little bit unfair, where you concede points and then have to kick the ball away. Reminds me of rugby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've been on the end of a hammer and then you keep, keep giving them the ball back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, they got more points today. Let's give them the ball. Yeah. Full fielded there. So Taron Joe with the return now onto the outside. Good solid tackle there by number 24. Yeah, lovely. Uh, Connor where found. We, where are we looking in the midfield here? Looks like he's bang on midfield for that uh, for that return. It does. Yeah. <coughs> so we've got the luxury, I should have already said it, but I haven't. We've got the luxury of a 100 yard field here. Uh, yeah. Which is, it, actually I must admit, it's becoming more of the norm, I think, across the brick ball. Um, but uh, we still, you still got the Titans that play on an 80-yard field, which uh, needs to change. I don't think they do this year because I think 80 yards been banned this year. No, no, it hasn't. It was supposed to be oh, it, next year now. It's next year, but, is but, it? But, yeah, Bellevue's an 80-yard field, so yeah, they are talking new. about that they are going to be doing away with the smaller fields. Yeah, they, and they should. It's, it's the right thing, and they're going about it the right way. You know, just sort of yeah. giving everyone a year's warning or so to speak. And I have to say, I haven't, I haven't been coming in many years. The grass is looking pretty good here. It's, this it's, is. This is decent. There's a bit of a camber to the pitch, but it's yeah. not that bad. Yeah, and there's a bit of a slope too. Yeah. So for going to five on that first down, second and five. He's still on his feet. I think the nicest grass field that I've seen this year, or that we've seen, Mike, is uh, the Hart, um, Hertfordshire Cheetahs. Yes. It's beautiful. The, like, the, the rugby club field at the club at the back, yes. It's like lovely and flat, nice viewing for us so as well. Davy Baker there nice. runs for a... And uh, the worst has got to be the London Blitz. <laughs> London Blitz is always <laughs> going to be a bad field. So is it always? Why is it always? The, the, during got, the second, got commit, they, get, they get hundreds of thousands. During the of pounds. Second World War, yeah, that site was used as heavy anti-aircraft guns. Right. So there is masses of heavy concrete to support Underneath the guns. It. Right. And they built the park over that. Right. So there isn't enough soil. <laughs> So they end up spending more time putting sand down. Yeah, sand and dust. Yeah. What and a there's run. a huge drive there on that third and short. That's number number 26, I think, the ball carrier on that play. Let me see if I can get a replay in on that. Uh, uh, we just get the Davey end of it. I need Baker. to adjust my replay. Sorry, I, I, I reset my uh, my hardware this, this week and uh, it's changed all my replay settings. I need to change them, but I can't do it live. <laughs> yeah, so so that's the, that's the background to it. And yeah. they've... It's, a, it's, it's local authority, so, you know, there's a lovely, there's a lovely duck pond, a you know, boat and lake. Oh, yeah, and, no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm not knocking every... the rest of Finsbury Park. I was saying that yeah. ground is awful. Yeah, <laughs> within the running track, it is awful. Yeah. But, yeah, that's, that's the, the story behind it that yeah, I've, right. I've been told. I'll use the word allegedly. Sam Chance looks to throw over the middle. Jason Griffiths with a catch. Oh, wow. Oh, and I'll whack my replay button quickly. Let's see if we can get that all in. Yeah, here we go. Sam Chance taking the snap, faking the handoff ball straight over the middle at Griffin. And is it Griffiths or Griffiths? Griffiths. Well, sorry, Griffiths. Um, and uh, extending the lead here. So that's that, by my reckoning, that's 22 13, Mike. It is 22 13. Look at this, mate. Yeah, we're our own little ref crew here, aren't we? Maybe I need a little pad. Scoreboard's wrong. <laughs> yeah, my one's not, or our one's not on the yeah. broadcast. But, uh, so that's pending. And Chris Hobbs hasn't been point. on this drive, so why hasn't he been? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm disappointed in him. He'll, he'll be yeah. over shortly because they've scored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Harrison Cook, really bad Ooh. snap. 
Little chip shot, it was tipped. Did that go in? And it went through. <laughs> oh, you got you, you got to be a bit gutted if you're the, the Apache here. The nothing's quite going their way at the moment. There's now a 10 point deficit in the game. Uh, so the Bournemouth Bobcats leading 23 to 13 in this fourth quarter? Maybe? Yeah, fourth quarter. Sorry, I didn't change that on the old. So great work there, Perry Pedroza, the holder. That bubbled snap, managed to control it. Oh, you blaming the snap? Chip on you, the kick. You blaming the snap there, rather than the holder? Yeah, well, yeah, he controlled it really well. It was a bad yeah. snap, and he controlled it. Got the kick off. So, just under nine minutes left in the game then. And we've got the uh, Bournemouth yet again kicking off. The shark's up there in the in the sky. You can see it nice and yeah. clearly. A wind, a, a wind indicator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you, wanna, <laughs> yeah. you can tell the way the wind's blowing. Just watch the shark's tail. <laughs> Here we go. Good drive. Luke nice Holloway with the here. return. Good tackle. Number 43. Max Cheetah. Hey, well done, Max. <laughs> the gazelle got taken down that one. Yeah. By the cheetah. <laughs> oh, I hope that sticks. I hope he... <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, where are we? Oh, I thought we had some more comments. We haven't. Everyone's gone a bit quiet. It's all, it's all good. Everyone's enjoying it. Or maybe they're watching another live stream. <laughs> so it looks at possession around about the 25-yard line. The surge have come back. They're currently winning it eight seven over the miners, which is quite I'll just interesting. Check that twenty one yard line. Uh, and at half time, the Hornets are losing to the Olympians twelve six. So here we go then. Number seven goes in motion. QB looked to keep it and was well met by the defence. I know number twenty six. Sean Griffith with a carry. Griffin, sorry. Griffin and Griffith we've got, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. And there is no F on Jason Griffith. There's no S, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and here he comes, Chris Hobbs now to change the play because he's not on the field. Yeah. That's what we've been saying. One so. job Hobbs is what they call it. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, looking to pass over the middle. Ooh, oh, big collision there. Let's see if we can see that again. There you can see QB dropping back, ball over the middle, and yeah. TJ nice Ajay, number 89 there, and Edward Demuna, number two. But we do have a flag on the play. But TJ's come off for a bit of a breather, I can understand that. That was a bit of a clattering. But uh, he, he didn't go down, um, but it was still a big hit. Especially when you're looking the other way and trying to focus on a ball, someone comes in and smacks you one. <laughs> nice catch, sir. I wish I'd have got that on camera. Yes, yeah, the receiver looking for the ball is always going to be a bit more vulnerable. So, so we've had a face cage calling uh, on that play. I, I must admit, I didn't see it, but uh, the ball has been, it's gone in uh, the Apache's favour. So there was a face cage from the Bobcat somewhere. Um, and uh, that brings up first and ten. Yeah, so it's, we were watching the, um, the the pass and the the break up there. Yeah. So they probably one of the line, linemen and that. So he'll be looking to pass again. He's given the handoff. Oh, it looked like he jumped in. I don't really know what. I thought I I saw, there was a play no, action he... to that. No, he did like, uh, from, from this angle, he sort of like, he was low down and he did like a rabbit jump to the left and then ra tried to run straight out the hole. It was a bit of a, an odd one. So it wasn't a handoff, it was like him like a, a jump hesitated cut. jump sideways. Yeah. So about second and about 13 now. So a loss of three on that run. Oh, look, there's a lot of uh, trips, trips to the right side for the offense now. Looking to pass, number seven's coming down in the middle of the field. 
So we've got a bit of love here for Jason, who scored for the Bobcats. Um, someone here saying, love to see Jason score, although no chance in catching him for touchdowns this season now. <laughs> the Aztecs are winning 42-9 over the Cats. Thanks, Nathan. Appreciate the update. Yeah. There was a little bit of rub between the defender and the receiver there. I was there. I missed it. Yeah. So they were having their conversation. Uh -huh. Did we have it on camera? That's the most important thing. So, around about seven minutes left now. And it's uh, third and long for the Apache. We've got some love for Sam Chance here, saying he's the best QB in Div 1. Number moment. 17 rolls out, throws. Before the last touchdown, you gave a safety. Yeah, I did. That's not my problem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> us, us on the stream, we're right. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. Okay. Yeah, so incomplete pass there, fourth down. This wind's picking up again. Yeah, another difficult punting situation. I, I think this is a, it's still this seven, is a very still pessimistic, to go. So pessimistic distance here for, is it Griffith? Jason Griffith with Griffith. no S. That's what I said. Yeah. yeah. I, think he, I think he's, he, yeah, he's, he's, very, yeah, he's, he's starting to come up. Yeah, he was a little, I think he's a little bit far back there, considering how heavy this wind is. We've got a flag. Looks like a legal substitution. Yep. So they're going back another five. Jason's now walking up to the 20. Yeah, I still, I th I still think that he's... That's quite generous for the punter. Yeah. <laughs> like, seeing as his last couple in this direction <laughs> haven't really gone anywhere. Yeah, so we'll see what this wind's going to do. So he's now standing about the 23-yard line. Ball's going to be... Punted from about the 20. Ah, uh, yeah. Bounces on just over the 50, rolls. Yeah. Out That's of bounds around about the 38 yard line. Do you know what? I think that punt went as well as it possibly could then, really. I'd, yeah. Uh, that's it. It's tough yeah. conditions. And he's he hasn't sliced it, he's kicked it pretty well. It's just been caught up in the wind. That's a that's a decent punt. Um there by the uh, by the Apache. Just under six minutes now left in the game. If you heard any funny creaking on the noise, it was Derek Burridge getting up from off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like that when I walk upstairs. Chris Hobbs with a carry now. Gain of about eight on that play. Chris Hobbs, oh what, the, uh, the scoreboard bloke? Yeah, yeah, he, he came and changed the score, but he's got it wrong. It only says 21. Yeah, on it's funny that he got it wrong. Uh, but, uh, yeah, right. Um, there is a player down, just laying down. I, I, I yeah. don't think it's a proper injury. He is coming off, though. I say proper yeah. injury. I meant, I meant the game stopping injury. Sorry. Yeah. So, <laughs> if, as Chris has missed putting the safety on the scoreboard, I think we, you know, M MVP votes. Is he's got? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's lost. So here it. we go. Anyway. Oh. Um, False yeah. start, yeah. yeah. Was a, so, false start by the Bobcats there. Yeah, it was the left tackle, I think. Um, I think everybody realised it, and then the flag came in. So, yeah, I think the Bobcats gave that one away, really, rather than... <laughs> so, here we go then, second and eight. Chris Hobbs in the middle, well tackled there by number 90, Lewis Kame. 98. Lewis Kame, he saw we tackled. <laughs> that was brilliant, lovely yeah. tackle. Solo as well. Well, waist height, right I don't know about low. <laughs> eh? I said waist height, not solo. <laughs> Dad jokes are us. So here we go then, <laughs> third and eight. Spread formation, Sam Chance looking to throw. Gets away from the first tackler. He's sacked. So, back to the original line of scrimmage, 48 
Through the 38 yard line, fourth down. And again, obviously pointing out that this has been a, a punt with the wind, so get the ball high enough and it will just sail to the red zone. <laughs> so Harrison Cooper then back to punt. Luke Holloway back to return. He's had a few good solid returns in this game. Nice punt. Holloway lets it bounce. Decided to pick it up and run with it and gain a few extra yards. 27 there with the return. Hayden Lee. <laughs> Interesting there, the, the, the Apache were calling for saying that uh, one would play a touch. But that's, yeah, but they hadn't. But that's illegal touching. Yeah, and that would have killed the play. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so under four minutes now, Apache. Both teams have still got two timeouts to use. But 10 points down now in the fourth quarter, 23 to 13. Uh, sorry, how many minutes are left did you say? Under four. Yeah, so that, they've really got to score on this on this drive to, to have a chance of staying in the game. So you know, this is a last chance stand for uh, for the Bournemouth Bobcats. Oh. <laughs> well defended. Really Will Brooks, well defended. number 93 there, putting a bit of pressure on the quarterback. Yeah. No, he put the pressure on the quarterback. It was Pedro Pedroza, a Perry Pedroza with the tackle. Or the, the, inter, the, the break up of the pass. Right, second and ten here for the, uh, for the Apache. Oh, yeah. Trips formation to the left then. Gooby looks to pass. Intercepted by number 19. Tim Chapman there with the interception. And that probably seals the game for the Bobcats. Um, I, don't, I don't quite think there's, there's enough time for, for the Apache to come back here. No, no, I, I think they, 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 they'll probably get the ball again, but you can't score 10 points in one possession, right? So uh, I think... And uh, Chris uh, Hobbs Hobbs comes to correct Chris the Hobbs score. Comes to correct his mistake, <laughs> his early mistake. One job. He was under pressure, yep. he was on camera. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go then. First down at the 45-yard line. Sam Chance looks a little bubble screen. Was that picked off the other way? Yeah, it was. He's calling first down the other way. It was picked. Why aren't they celebrating? <laughs> it's like the number nine so it looked like it off. went into um, no, Taron Joe's hands first down. and then bounced into the hands of a receiver. Uh, sorry, a, de a defensive back for the Apache. So I'm assuming then an inadvertent whistle stopped that play. The yeah, so uh, the Apache may have a chance here. They, they, they get the yeah, ball back straight good. away. Um, I, like I said, I, I thought the Bobcats would keep hold of it for a bit longer, chew off a bit more clock time, but one play later and they uh, they got the ball back. Yeah, so as I say, Taron Joe was the receiver. And it looked like he caught it and then it bobbled up Went into, into the, the hands of a defender who yeah. started running and then and there was a bounds. whistle. Yeah. Oh, was it an Aaron whistle? I thought I don't know. If, I don't know why the whistle blew, but yeah. that stopped the play. Yeah. But then the Possession referee happened. on the far Thanks. side confirmed that it had been intercepted. So yeah, here yeah. we go then. Look to pass to number 89. Still on his feet. There's a lot of lateral la yards there, but uh, well fielded out of bounds by Bournemouth. So, second and not second and one. So, 
still, still outside the two minute warning at the moment. There we go. That was a false start, surely. A lot of movement on the line there. So the jet sweep play. Yeah. The last thing they need here is uh, penalties against them, yep. the Apache, if they're going to formulate a comeback. Just under three minutes then, so we're approaching the two minute warning. Second down and six now after that false start. The Blitz have scored a touchdown. So it could be 7 all, or it could be 7-6. I haven't got the confirmation on screen, but... That'll be an interesting one. A tight game yeah. in, uh, in London. I mean, if, if the Warriors drop two... That would be their second loss this season if they yeah. lost today. I, I can't see it happening. So go QB Peaches to the left. Nicholas Newnham with a carry. Forward progress is stopped. Bournemouth's... Uh, Trenchmen have woken up again. <laughs> Will Brooks, number 93. The Rams be have beat the Steam 61 0. And the Vikings are still 22 0 um, up over the Alphas. So, third down and 10 then. The Aztecs are, uh, have gone 49 9 up over the Cats. So, spread formation. Nicholas Noonan in the backfield with the quarterback. Looking to pass. Rolls out to his right. Throws over the middle. Number 19 with another interception chance. Tim Chapman there had his eye on his second interception. It looks like the punt team's coming on for the Apache. It is fourth down. I don't, I don't know why the punt team would come on here. The, the, you sh they should go for it, but they're not. Maybe they're doing a fake punt. So, probably be the two minute warning after this plunt, punt, plunt, play. Plunt, plunt yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they are in punt formation. Plunt formation. <laughs> Ball's on the 43 yard line. See what they can do. They didn't fake it. Lovely kick there, but... And it takes a Apache bounce. Uh, so what? <laughs> See what they've... <laughs> Down to the that... 11. What have you gained? <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. I don't... Like, that for me is a silly, silly call. Well, there we go. Two minute There's warning. Timeout call. Uh, for the two... Is it the two minute timeout? Yeah. yeah. I just don't understand that. Oh, I don't get it. You need 10 points. Why would you not go for it on fourth down? You're midfield as well. But granted, this is the worst starting position I think the Bobcats have had this half, but so what? Unless, unless they get a pick six. Like, is that what they're vying for here? Like a turnover? Well, one yeah. first down and the game's effectively over. Yeah. I just I don't, I don't understand what the Apache's uh, decision is uh, was there so. on that fourth down. The Apache do have two timeouts left, so do Bournemouth. Oh, I've been corrected that... Oh wow, what a run up the middle when he's got a first down. So, it Davey Baker like the with a carry down. there. Rolled over. It might just be shy. Yeah, they're called in second. I can see the yeah. uh, the signal from the refs. <laughs> Number 93 is Will Brooks. The Apache Panther loves to run. <laughs> I think he plays safety, doesn't he? Stephen well. Matt here, coaches for Bournemouth Bobcats, having a chat between themselves. And Billy as well, lots of Bournemouth Bobcat University. <laughs> Sam Chance with the carrot. David Baker gets that first down oh and more. Oh God, two first downs back to back. Out to about the 32. Uh, and on runs. Just need to keep running it. Run the clock out, win the game. Under a minute. So two kneels now. <laughs> Do you reckon they'll just kneel it out? I don't, I don't think they will, but 
They could. They're at that point where they could just win this well, game. They're not in that formation well. at the moment. No. So they're letting the clock run down there, waiting yeah. for that 10 second warning from the referee. Davy Baker again. Oh my God, just wide open gaps and he picks up a, that's We've three. got a flag on the play from oh, the referee. Got a flag. Okay, well that's three consecutive first down runs uh, from the Bobcats. Yeah. And it's like a holding call. But there's one of those situations. You, you're, you're the defense. You're the defense. You're down by ten points. Yeah. And you're you're, you're caught, you, you 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 punt the ball away. You know. Now you've got to defend. Yeah. So you know it it, it doesn't do. No, that's what I mean. It's like uninspired. Like, yeah. How can you say that you're trying to win the game with that call? You're not. So, like so a, twenty seconds left to five yard. Oh, sorry, ten yard hold there. But they're taking a knee on the uh, twenty-eight yard line. Cool. So, it's been a fantastic game today. We've seen a lot of really good running performances from both sides. Good pass and he catching. But, I've got to give it 99 yard run. <laughs> Lead blockers. So, Charles Turland is our MVP of the day. And the ref will just hold the ball up here to signify the end of the game. So, there we go, final score. Bournemouth Bobcats 23. Bristol Apache, 13. Yeah, so, yeah, I, 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 do you know what? I think there's been a, a few good shouts for uh, MVP in this game. Um, the, 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 the Bournemouth Bobcats D-line just yeah. dominated uh, for a long period of the game. After, after, they, caught, um, after they, were, they were caught out by the QB sneaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, and adjusted. they adjusted really well. But then you've also got, like, you, it's funny you said that, like, our MVP to, uh, what was his, his name, Charlie? Charles, Charles? Turland. Charles Turland, he, as you also pointed out, that was a team effort. You know, he, yeah, he picked it yeah. off and he ran it down. But the amount of players that were with him, five, six yeah. players, you know, 80 yards, 90 yards down the field blocking with him was fantastic. To be fair to him, though, that was his speed. They were all faster than yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and but the but, point is he looked amazing. he looked to give it off at one stage. He was looking like he was, yeah, looking he was for trying to pass to it away it to someone. And they were all going, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> and he ran in awesome. for the touchdown. Amazing so. stuff. Uh, cool. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. We'll we'll we'll, we'll end it here. Um, so, congrats to the Bournemouth Bobcats. Full time score twenty three. Bournemouth Bobcats uh, and the Apache scored thirteen. So, uh, moving yeah. to five and four on the season. So, yep. So they, okay. they'll they'll stay in third for now, I think. Yes. Um, but uh, yeah, good stuff. And guys, we'll be back next week. I think we've got three games next weekend. Double header um, at Solent. Correct. Yeah, double header at Solent. So under nineteens. Uh, and then the Silent thr uh, Thrashers seniors, and then we'll have the Bristol Aztecs playing the London Blitz, I think. I'm not sure on that one, so I'll be at Solent with Steve, and yes. Tebs will be covering the, the Bristol, Bristol game. game. Yeah, cool. All right, guys, so, well, thanks for joining us, and uh, thanks we'll see for you watching, next week. guys.